Well, I had some leftover cedar from another project uh, that were in a glue up, and I saw a turned birdhouse on the internet and thought I would just use these uh, glue ups to turn myself a kind of a mid-size birdhouse made out of cedar, put a galvanized metal roof on it so that uh, it would uh, last through the weather and basically made the, the whole thing for nothing. Stay tuned. Basically, it's made out of uh, cedar boards that had been planed down to a half an inch so that they'd be smooth and glue up well. So I glued six of these together and made a pretty much a four and a half inch square. By the time it's completed, completely turned, it was probably four inch square. Uh, just turned it roughly. The cedar is so soft that it, uh, it uh, you can see how rough it is, but it also <laughs> Because it's so soft, it responds uh, very quickly to sandpaper. I use this 80 grit uh, super paper from 3M on it, and uh, it, it came out smooth pretty quick. Then I uh, put it in my chuck and drilled it out with an inch and three quarter inch, inch uh, Forstner bit, and then took my tools and uh, cleaned up the inside of it put some lines on it just to decorate it a little bit and uh, what I decided I would do is cut a roof shaped roof into it so I uh, decided on 35 degrees of uh, pitch to the roof I was able to cut the top of the house with my miter saw 35 degrees uh, centering the two cuts in the center of the house, then had some more of this wood that was five and a half inches wide because it started out as sort of a, uh, a skinny one by six. Uh, you can see that these boards were planed as well. So I cut a couple sections of that for my two roof sections, about uh, five and a half inches wide front to back and about five inches long uh, peak to eave and uh, just cut those to shape on the miter saw then went over to the table saw slanted the blade to 35 degrees and ran these boards through that blade to get a the, the at the peak the two 35 degree cuts would meet in a in a perfect miter and down at the uh, you could say the gutter end or the eave end of the roof they would end up uh, 90 degrees with the ground to look a little bit more like a roof would look. So I just simply uh, cut that 35 degree cut in one end, flipped them over, cut the same 35 degree cut in the other end, and I had my two roof pieces. I was gonna clad this with some galvanized tin that I had laying around, and uh, so the thickness of these boards wasn't too critical. Uh, in order to get a, a tight glue joint at the ridge, I just taped these two pieces point to point on a flat surface. And uh, that works, I think, pretty well as sort of a hinge when you're gluing up, like when you're gluing up miters. And so that, would, that held the uh, peak together. Uh, the rest of it, there was a ton of glue service, surface on the, on the house itself. So between... Uh, a good tight bond three at this peak, smearing it on uh, those two surfaces, and then a bunch more tight bond on the house itself. I was able to just press this down onto the birdhouse. I did put a couple of uh, little brads in straight down through these roof pieces into that meaty part of this uh, turning in order to uh, kind of serve as a clamp for the glue. And once I'd done that, really all that was left was for me to clad it. And again, I use galvanized for lots of things. I think it looks great outside. Once it weathers, it kind of gets a patina on it. Here's a quick look at what I did. I basically just bent a piece of metal 35 degrees 
on both sides and then another 35 at each end to be like the gutter end and I simply slid this on top of the house. I drilled the center out for a, a, a hanging hook and that also served as a way to basically hold the roof to the, the house. Uh, those overhangs I had to mark on each side so that I'd get that final fold so that it would sit tightly and uh, this metal is thin enough if you clamp it between some bar stock in a, in a vise you can get a very crisp fold without a, a real deal break. So you can see it, it looks pretty good. I did some last second trimming and uh, then uh, got a little quarter inch dowel put it in my drill, used some sandpaper on it to give it a little softer point, uh, rounding out the end of that dowel. <clears throat> and then I drilled a quarter inch hole in the front of the birdhouse below the opening to create a perch. So here I've just, uh, I'm just marking it with an awl, my center, uh, all by eye, not a critical deal. The whole thing is just kind of a rough, slap it together kind of a thing but it'll make a, a, a nice uh, decoration out in the yard whether a bird moves into it or not uh, we really don't care uh, it, it's more something to look at than than if it uh, actually gets occupied I've got plenty of bird houses around the house that uh, are not lived in and so I just glued this quarter inch dowel in place and ended up with a uh, a finished product did the whole thing in a day and uh, and here it is sort of finished uh, some pictures uh, just as I was completing it and then I out went outside hung it in a tree just to get kind of a sense of uh, what it would look like outside and probably not its final resting place but quick cheap free actually uh, birdhouse made out of uh, scrap fence boards. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and thank you for watching.